Good morning. We are on our way to tow a Honda Ridgeline. I guess the alternator went out and uh, the lady's able to get into a hotel parking lot and get it stopped there. So we're going to go pick it up and take it back to her house. All right. I think I see it right over there. And oh, I love surprises. Like, you know, the part where it has a trailer hooked to the back, and they didn't think to mention that. So. So now the question is, is this place a circle driveway or I gotta back the combination out of here? Hopefully it's a circle driveway. Okay, so apparently the alternator went out and this is just a little tiny trailer, so it's no big deal. It's not gonna matter at all, really, as long as I can circle around. If not, I can back it out of here. That's not any big problem, but this is an all-wheel drive, so we're going to throw it on the Collins G7 dollies, the new prototype models that now I can actually show you up close. Look at that nice handle and these new poly whatever carbon fiber latches. Fancy. We got it loaded up on the wheel lift, tied down. Our new G7 dollies tied down. Trailer's all hooked up good. Lights on the back of the trailer, so should be ready to go. I'll wind my way out of here. It looks like this does circle around and I can come out over there, so that's handy. And then I'll throw the safety chains on and we will head down the road. Okay, we got it unhooked, um, couldn't film a whole lot, but there it is, I just stuck it up there in the trees, still got the trailer hooked up, that's out of the way so they can still get in out of the driveway and I guess they're going to fix it themselves, but now, oh good, the gate's still open, we can get out of here. Wow, a nice old international truck there, and I jumped out and ran back over and asked the lady, it's not for sale. So. We're gonna head on to the next one and see what else we got for the day. So we are gonna hook up to that car trailer, the little tilt trailer, and then head into town to go get my other truck. And this is why wheel lift trucks are so handy. Now we just pick it up, and off we go. I mean, we still gotta do like the whole hook it up thing and all that, so get that done. Hook up some safeties. All right, good to go. Just gotta uh, wind this winch all the way in because I don't need it. I need to actually drive my other pickup on it. So we'll go to the shop, grab some more things, get that wound up and head to town. All right, we're down at the shop. We're gonna load up some stuff on the trailer. Uh, this Jeep is ready to go. I actually got the first track Jeep snow recovery call of the season. Um, last week but it was late at night and i had to get up at like three in the morning to fly to baltimore so i turned it down but hopefully that means some more are going to start rolling in and that thing can get out in the snow the shop cats are hanging out they really like their little home up there 
I got them like super nice little cat beds and a whole little shelter thing and like the climbing toy thing and all that stuff that like you normally don't do for shop cats. But I got them all set up, heat lamp in it, everything so they could stay down and have a nice little place to hang out. And you know what they do? They go up on top of the shelf up there and they sit in a cardboard box. So what I did was I took those beds I got for them and put the beds inside the cardboard box and put the heat lamp right on them in the corner there and they absolutely love it. So that's where the shop cats hang out now. Okay, we got the trailer all put away. We got some stuff loaded in the truck. We're gonna head to town. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is stop at a car wash and wash this thing because it is just still trashed after that uh, trip Ben and I did to go get those old internationals. And if, if you're ever thinking of buying a, a Summit trailer, don't. All right, now that that's done, we can uh, head over to the shop and go get my other truck that got left there last night. So in all the back and forth yesterday of this truck being in the shop and then happened to use my other one to go do some mobile repair work and then coming back and picking this one up and some running around. This one ended up at my house and the other one ended up at the shop. So now we're gonna run back over and pick it up. Hey, let's go inside and get my keys. Gotta get in where you fit in sometimes. Hey, you assholes got my video demonetized yesterday. What? There's your stupid radio playing in the background with a copyrighted song. What? That one right there, I'm screwed now. And up we go. That'll probably work. Okay, we got the truck loaded up and tied down. So now we get in this one and take it home. All right, so stopped and did some quick grocery shopping here and now we're headed back home. And I know the question I'm about to get, so I will answer it now. Uh, why do you need the trailer to tow your truck instead of just towing it with the tow truck? And it's because the trailer is a better tow truck than the tow truck is. Uh, this truck will tow that truck. It's just that's a lot of weight way out there off the back of it Because when you put the back end of two trucks towards each other It takes a long reach in between to get from one to the other So you have to have the wheel lift extended all the way out and it's a lot of weight way back there And I have this trailer that's super simple plus I also want to take the trailer to the car wash But so easy to throw it on the trailer and done and it is a much better tow truck than not only this tow truck But any other light duty tow truck as well the trailer has like a legal weight capacity of, I think, 11,000 something pounds that I could put on it and still be underweight. And you have brakes and it rides nice and smooth because the load is balanced. Um, on a tow truck, legally I couldn't carry as much weight behind a tow truck as I can on this trailer. And then I wouldn't have brakes on what I'm towing. And if you think about it, if I'm towing this truck behind me with a tow truck, I'm basically pulling a loaded trailer with no brakes. Uh, you're trying to stop two vehicles with only one vehicle set of brakes. It's tow trucks eat through brakes for that reason and don't stop very well at all. With it on the trailer, I've got a whole nother set of brakes. Everything stops great, nice and balanced load. It is a much better way to do it uh, when it comes to transporting vehicles from one place to the other. It, rollbacks are nice because they're so versatile and the different things they can do uh, wreckers obviously for accidents and all that stuff the way to go but when it comes to transporting a vehicle from one place to another neither a rollback or a wrecker will do anywhere near as good as a trailer you might say well, a rollback can carry more no it can't uh, look at how much a rollback weighs and what its weight limit is this trailer can haul more legally than any rollback so uh, what in the car in the ditch is going on over here over there off the side kind of plowed up against those utility poles oh they are against the utility poles and they got tagged for a tow there huh. someone's got to go get that but as i was saying this trailer can legally haul more than any light duty tow truck or any light to medium duty rollback so it's what i use a lot of the time i use it even when i had the red tow truck uh, i use the trailer a lot because it's just such a convenient handy way to go so that's why I am towing it on my trailer, not towing it with my tow truck. All right, we made it home. So now we have to 
unload that truck and then go and hook the trailer then back this truck into that shop and reload it with all my tools because when I take this truck to the shop I had a whole laundry list of stuff to do I figured it'd be there for a few days at least so I gutted all the tools out of that camper shell on the bed that I just put on it and they got everything done in a day so it didn't stay there overnight at all so now I got to go put everything back in the truck so that I can go back to work so let's get going on that Okay, I think I got most everything I need loaded back up. I'm sure I forgot plenty of stuff. But uh, I gotta go just uh, patch a tire on a lawnmower and then head inside and call that a day. So quick, simple little video, just to run around town doing some errands, trying to catch up on all the stuff I'm behind on. And uh, it's gonna be it for this one. Um, tomorrow, I think I have an off-road recovery to go do. Uh, I'll find out for sure later tonight. Um, it's up in the snow and it's kind of warm and slushy so we might if i do it it's gonna be first thing in the morning when the snow's frozen and hard we can actually drive out there a little easier well it's not gonna be a problem for that jeep to drive out there it's just gonna make it easier once we pull them out of where they are for them to drive all the way back out of the woods and not have to drag them the whole way so hopefully that goes through and if so we'll see you there but until then that's it for this one see ya <laughs>